this ended up being my favorite place out of all of Yellowstone. There's actually some uh, geyser gazers, they call themselves, which sounds awesome. Sign me up. What is going on, my friend? This is Jason, and you might notice that I am not in Yellowstone National Park. But there's a good reason for that. The other day, whenever I was driving out, I had planned on leaving my cameras, not doing anything, and I stayed at Norris Geyser Basin for three days, their campground, but I never checked out Norris Geyser Basin. I'm on my way out, and I'm like, you know what? I should probably check it out. <laughs> this ended up being my favorite place out of all of Yellowstone. GoPro, killed the battery, didn't have a spare on me, used my Pixel, didn't shoot any intro, didn't shoot any outro. That's what we're doing here today. I wanna to show you Norris Geyser Basin. It's broken up into two parts, the back basin, which is all the geysers and thermal features, and then the porcelain basin, which is like another world. It's called the porcelain basin because it is beautiful white and baby blue water. So let's dig in, my friend. So the thing I absolutely love about this Norris Geyser Basin is that it's surrounded by trees, you're in the middle of it, but you're also so close to these features. Grand Prismatic, absolutely amazing. Uh, the canyon, overwhelming. Old Faithful, on time and super cool, but for getting down in it and just being like right on top of these things and having the room to explore. Not a lot of people here um, off on my own right now and it's 1130 and there's, there's very few people here. And I really So hopefully it's super clear why you need to check out Norris Geyser Basin if you ever go to Yellowstone. Make sure you put this on your list. Do me a solid, mash on those thumbs up, share this with a friend, and I will catch you on the flip side. Peace, my friend.